I, I don't normally do these kind of speeches, but this feels like a big moment. I know it's not easy being banished from MI5 to my department. I always love this kind of film noir stories where it's a mystery outside, but also it's a mystery within the characters. They want to know more about each other. They want to go dive in. Uh, tell me about the enjoyment about portraying your character in, 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 around these uh, um, interesting characters uh, as, as an actor. How, how fun is it? Well, it really is a lot of fun. I mean, I I don't I don't particularly um, I don't particularly like Jackson Lamb. I don't know if I'd want to spend too much time in his company, um, but I really like playing him as an actor. Working with you has been the lowest point in a disappointing career. Right. They're all very, very good at their jobs, I think, but they're all enormously flawed and have made horrendous mistakes. And so it's kind, it's quite a unique thing that it's not a bunch of useless people that bumble their way into saving the day. They're very good. They're just it, all the powers that be, everything's against them. Well, they're all damaged yeah. by something. Well, there's a, there's a there's a duplicity to to my character Sid Baker, um, and there's a big secret that she's not letting on to um, the rest of the slow horses. Um, and she's a brilliant agent, and she's constantly you know trying to mask how good she is. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of secrets, aren't there? And actually, being a spy is is a secret mm. as well. So I I liked. All those layers and layers of everyone's got secrets or they're keeping secrets from each other or they're sharing secrets and not telling somebody else or, you know, um, and there's a very strong thriller aspect to it. And, uh, uh, and then within all that, there's all sorts of loyalties and relationships. And even though they're a bunch of losers, there is a lot of, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, there's a lot of care mm. they have for each other, especially... Um, my character does tend to keep an eye on all the others quietly as well. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it was great fun to, 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 to make, actually, the whole thing. I actually want to be useful. I could not be more bored if I tried. You probably know how many people have made it back from Slough House to upstairs here at Regent's Park. Bringing you up to speed is like trying to explain Norway to a dog. None. Also, I, I can feel also the vibe of the underdog story, obviously. And as an audience, we root for them because it's not going to be, it's going to be more often that we're going to be behind the others and we have to learn how to survive or to get to the, our goals. Do you see it that way that this is a story about underdogs? Hopefully that's what the audience recognizes. It's the world of espionage, but they are people that we can relate to. I think that's I think that's really been what the success of the books. People love these books, and I think that's one of the uh, w one of the, the the special things about uh, Nick's writing is is that he's made the people in the spy world relatable, rather than a a sort of superhero James Bond type character. I think just regular people can relate to these regular people who happen to be in the spy world. Come check this out. Hostage. She's being held here. There is something finally happening. What has it got to do with you? Whatever's going on will be handled by the real agents. Balling from green. Balling from green. <laughs> I get it, we're just slow horses. I've got one lead, but I have to follow them. You're gonna help me? Oh, no, I'm not. Like it or not, Slow House is part of this now. What do you think you're playing it? I didn't mean to kill him. Of course you didn't. If you meant to kill him, he'd still be alive. And he says it, he says it himself, that he, he chooses to be there because he wants to finish his career. But I think um, you'd have a hard time pushing him out that door, wouldn't you? Yeah. Get them to yeah. actually retire. 
And does he really want to retire? Yeah. That's the other thing. You know, you get, you get, you're in a world that it's all you know, and um, and, and you the, these people are like addicts. They become addicted to it. You yeah. know what I mean? There is, uh, you know, so there is that push and pull going on. You know, that. He, he, he doesn't really give a shit, but he does. Thank you very much. Amazing characters, amazing show. You put lives in danger. This is off the books. I am directing personnel, yours or anybody else's. She's just covering her tracks. But it's the covering of the tracks that always gets you in the end. You really care about them, don't you? No, I think they're... Bunch of absolute losers. But they're my losers.